Hi guys. Hi. Hi, Mom. Hi guys, Nick and Hank here with Wags This Way. And what we want to do in this video, we want to show you how we're modifying our radio flyer wagon to be used as a cart for Hank. Now Hank's a Newfoundland and the Newfoundland's a working breed and originally they were used by the fishermen in Newfoundland to help them do their work. So they're great water dogs as most people know. They're used to, uh, originally used to pull lines from the boat to shore, the nets back into the boats, but they're also used to pull in harness. They're used to, to pull heavy loads and carts with that harness. And uh, Hank loves to pull, like a lot of Newfoundlands do, and he has, uh, he has some experience doing that. He loves pulling the kids on the toboggan in the winter, and, and we want to give him more opportunities to do that. So we want to get him into using a wagon a little bit. Uh, the first thing of any dog pulling is, is to have the right harness. Uh, it's really important that you get a nice harness for him uh, or her. Uh, that's where you want to spend your money, because you want your dog comfortable, you want him to enjoy what they're doing, uh, you want them to really like it. You, you don't want any discomfort at all. So a nice harness is a must. Um, the harness we use, this is from Nordkin Outfitters. It's a Siwash harness. Uh, fits Hank very nicely. It allows him to pull without any discomfort and really enjoy the work he's doing. Um, now the wagon, buying a nice wagon can be an expense and if you don't know if you or your dog want to do that, maybe you don't want to put that expense out. So we thought this video would be helpful because we could show you how to modify this or, or another wagon you might already have to, to start working in, in, in harness with your dog. So that's what we're going to do here and, and we hope it's helpful and we hope you enjoy so it. So the original handle for this cart is attached here to the frame simply by a uh, carriage bolt and nut. So we're going to begin by taking that apart so we can start taking some measurements here. And then that just slips out like this. All right, now that we have that original handle removed, I'm gonna be able to get the measurements I need down here on the frame. Now the first measurement's gonna be between these two brackets, so I have an idea of the width between them and what size material we can use as we start to build. The second measurement I'm gonna take is from this bolt to the frame itself, so I have an idea of what kind of clearance I have between the, the hole I'm gonna drill and the PVC material and the frame. The material I chose for this project is a one inch PVC, uh, and I chose it for a variety of reasons. One, the one inch size is gonna be a good size. It's gonna fit our cart well, it's gonna fit the frame. Uh, two PVC is gonna have, this size PVC is gonna have the strength and rigidity we need to hold up. Uh, three, it's relatively inexpensive, and the whole point of this project is to keep our costs down as we just start getting into carting. Uh, and lastly, it's, it's relatively easy to work with. With just a small number of tools, uh, we can do everything we need to do. Uh, it's easy to cut. Uh, they make tools specifically to cut it, like these cobalt shears here. Um, or you can even just use a simple old-fashioned hacksaw uh, to join it together. You don't need any special skills. You can just some primer and some PVC glue. You can attach everything you need. Um, it's relatively easy. There are a lot of good videos out there, a lot of good resources that'll teach you better than I could how to join this all together. Uh, if you have any questions, I'd encourage you to look at some of those. Okay, before we start uh, to measure and, and cut and lay everything out, I thought I'd show you the end product first and talk about each piece uh, so you know what we're doing, where we're going, and how we're gonna lay all this out. Uh, so the first piece is gonna be this piece here, the short piece of PVC that's going to attach directly to the cart uh, onto the frame. And then that's going to come down to this, this uh, joint here, this T. Uh, and then we're going to create the, the width with another short piece of PVC that goes into this 90 degree angle here. And then once we have this bottom piece here, we're going to uh, set this joint at a, a roughly 45 degree angle so that this riser piece can come up and we can measure that how high we need to come up on the dog and then we'll go to a 45 degree joint that's going to give us our horizontal here uh, and this piece is going to run out and is what attaches directly to the harness and to the dog. Uh, so from here we'll start measuring and cutting and, and laying everything okay, out. Okay, so the first piece I'm going to lay out and cut is for the short piece that's going to attach to the bracket on our frame and come into the cross here. 
So the length we decided on from the frame to the cross is two and a half inches. And then we need to take into account the recess of the fitting as well. Uh, and this fitting on fitting this size, it's about an inch and an eighth. So our total length on the PVC cut is gonna be three and five eighths inches. Now I've already set my square to that. So I'm just gonna uh, go ahead and lay this out. You're just gonna take your square, make sure it's nice and flush up against the edge and just start to mark this out. Okay, so now that I have my line all marked out, I'm gonna go ahead and start that cut. I prefer to just use a, an old fashioned hacksaw to do that. Let's see if I can uh, zoom in here so you guys can get a better look at, at that cut. Now as I start this cut, I'm gonna use my thumb to get my blade in the right spot as I get, as I get started. Uh, and I'm trying to be square to the end of the pipe, so I make a nice straight cut. And just nice and slow, get the blade started, and then let the blade do the work. Try to keep nice and straight on that line. Okay, so once your cut's done, you're gonna have a little bit of tear out here, a little bit of feathering from that cut. I just like to use uh, some 220 sandpaper, use that sandpaper, and uh, go ahead and give it a little bit there, clean it up, and then you got a nice smooth, ready to glue up. Okay, so we have the short piece cut here that's gonna come uh, from our frame that's gonna attach the brackets here and then come out to our, our first connection. Uh, and I'm using a cross connection here, but you could just as easily use a T. They were just out at Home Depot, so this will work just as well. So I'm gonna mark this up so I can drill through, drill the hole for the carriage bolt to go through the bracket and the, the pipe here. Now when I do this, I wanna have enough tail that it, it provides plenty of support uh, for the, the bolt, but we're not gonna hang up on the frame here as, as this wants to move. So I'm just gonna eyeball here what I want and make a mark and then I'll measure on the other side to make the other mark so this is nice and square. Okay guys so we have this horizontal set we have our angle set here at 45 this is fairly horizontal here with a, with a little scrap piece of wood. So I know my horizontal shaft's gonna come back and where it's gonna sit on Hank. So now I wanna stay true to the angle here of this 45 coming up and get an idea of how long this shaft is gonna need to be. So try to stay at that 45 degree angle and that's good. Good boy, Hank. Okay, so we have this mocked up. Uh, again, this is all just hand tight. There's nothing glued in so we can adjust and, and bring down lengths if we need to or, or adjust angles. Uh, I have this blocked up here so this is relatively horizontal so we can get an idea um, of how everything's gonna fit uh, off of Hank. Now, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna have him uh, get in between here so I can get an idea if uh, this is a good length or not. They're probably a little bit long, but I want to get an idea and, and get it pretty close. Uh, cut this down and set that 45 for the horizontal shaft that's going to go across. Now, uh, this is a good time to bring up two. As, as I've done all these measurements and, and, and started through this process, everything I've measured with Hank, I've measured him next to the cart. I've measured, measured him next to the PVC. Uh, because even though he's exposed to a lot of things, Hank and I do a whole bunch of stuff, he's never really worked around a wagon like this, and he's never really worked between shafts like this. So I, I, 
going to take these opportunities to to acclimate him, to desense him a little bit to all this and get him used to working around it. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and work him and, and see how close we can get him in here between these two uh, without without moving any of the angles. Yeah, I think. Come here. Good. 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 Okay. So I just want to get him comfortable here. Hank, come here. Working for me and ignoring this. Hank, back. Uh, the nice thing is he knows a lot of stuff. He's used to me. I'm going to use my hands here to manipulate him a little bit. I don't want to move this wagon any more than I have to. Good boy, Hank. Good. Good boy. Stay. Good. Stay. Stay. Uh, so he's touching the bar here a little bit, which is actually great. He's comfortable enough to do that. So I'm just going to take my pencil here and mark. I know where the, the girth strap, where it's going to come across with that horizontal shaft is going to fit in. So I'm just going to visualize and get an idea about where I want to take that 45 across horizontal. Uh, and I'll, I'll trim these down and, and see how it looks and, and, and give it another go. Okay, so we've cut this, uh, this 45 degree angle here, this shaft down to to the size we measured it on that second check on Hank. Uh, and, and then I put the 45 degree fitting here and I've also put this uh, scrap piece of PVC and what that's gonna allow me to do is I can use my level and make sure we're close uh, so I can check these angles through each step. It's important. These aren't glued, they're just hand tight. So as we bump and jostle things, it's gonna allow me to double check things a little bit quicker. Uh, so I'm going to bring Hank back here who's hanging out with me as I work. Uh, we're going to check, we're going to make sure this is a good height and then we'll measure uh, from here forward for that horizontal shaft that's going to fit into the harness. Hank, come here, bud. Good boy. And Hank's getting the hang of this. He knows kind of the drill now. Stay. Hank, back. Take one step. Stay, buddy. Good, good, good. Good boy. Stay. So the height on this looks pretty good. Uh, I think it's gonna work for us. So now I'm going to take and measure from our joint here and try to get an idea lengthwise what I'm gonna want for this for this uh, horizontal shaft. That's a pretty good idea, good boy. And then we'll cut that and we'll fit it up and we'll go from there. Okay, so we've, uh, we've cut this horizontal shaft about the length we thought we would need it to be. So I'm going to fit it here into the 45 next to Hank and, and do one more check before I cut the other one. Fit that in there nice and snug and this makes everything heavy. So we're going to put our level on here, make sure we're close on our angles. Looks good. Good boy, Hank. Hank's getting comfortable. He's starting to move into this. Good boy. And then... That's going to be a little bit long, but that's okay. I can cut it back down later, but it's good. I can cut that next shaft and rough everything in and then make sure it's, it's width-wise, everything's fitting comfortably, and then we'll start setting everything up to glue. Good boy, Hank. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Okay, guys, we've got everything laid out here. Um, and what I'm checking here is to make sure that our, our width is good before I start gluing, gluing anything up. Uh, I'll always be able to cut these horizontal shafts down when it's glued together if they're too long. But once I glue this, I'm, I'm kind of stuck. So I want to make sure we have a good width here. Uh, so I've lined these two, our two long shafts here, our two horizontal shafts. Good boy. So that they're parallel to each other. And that's going to let me check here with Hank. Good boy, Hank. Good, come here. Good, and those look good, so I think we're gonna start to, to glue this all together. Um, one word of caution as, as we start doing this, we wanna make sure once we're gluing them, we wanna sure, make sure all of our angles are square, our lengths are symmetrical, uh, and everything's as it should be. Now that we've had everything measured, we've cut it out, we've dry fit it all together and, and put it next to the dog, we've 
resized a few pieces. We're comfortable now with, with the size of everything, how it fits next to Hank. We're gonna go ahead and start gluing things up. Now, if you've never worked with PVC before, there's, there's a lot of resources online, videos, articles that you can, you can look over to, uh, to get more comfortable doing it. It's, it's not a difficult thing, uh, but there are better resources than me. So I think I'll, I'll walk through one with you guys and, and then kind of cut to the, the end result. Uh, but with PVC, it's fairly simple. The first things I'm gonna glue here on our cross piece, and again, uh, we could have gone with a T, but they just didn't have it in stock, so I got this. But, but we're gonna put our, our cross pieces in first. And this is the, the piece that's gonna attach directly to the cart. Um, and then what that's gonna do, putting these on first, it's gonna help us with this, because this is gonna be the first piece that we really need to work to, uh, to line up here. So with these in, I can make sure our, our carriage bolt here is gonna be, is gonna be in line with all of this. If, if, if I'm off like that and we put it on the cart, it's, it's gonna be uneven, it's gonna drag on the ground. So these are gonna help me line all of this up uh, so these are what I'd recommend doing first. Uh, so I'll go ahead and glue one of those, one of these for you guys. And again, it's not difficult. You just want to take some PVC, or not PVC, you want to take some sandpaper for your PVC. Make sure your ends are relatively square. Take your sandpaper, make sure they're clean as well. Uh, scuff it up a little bit. Uh, scuff up your, your fitting on the inside. so that you have it like you want it. And then a little bit of primer here to, to prep the surface. And then some glue. I'm gonna try to be clean here. Not make too much of a mess. Put the glue in my piece that I've sanded, fit that in as tight as I can get it, and then you're good to go. So I'm going to uh, glue the rest of these up and uh, we'll start showing you how it, it all fits together. Okay guys, so making sure that this is all lined up is going to be very important. We want to make sure that this ends up as horizontal to the ground and, and these line up with our bolt so that everything's nice and square. We don't end up with something like this. So I'm gonna glue this up down here. It's gonna help me um, line everything up. I got my glue here, I got my pair of pliers. I'm gonna grab a level. And everything's already been prepped and sanded and primed. So we're just gonna go ahead and get this going. Try to be quick, but accurate. That's pretty good. Okay, so now that we have these glued up, the next thing I'm gonna do is to glue my 45s onto my, my um, horizontal shafts. Because I can do that, there's not really any angles that are gonna need to be checked once it's glued. I can glue this up and then that'll help me set, um, when I set everything up here, and I have my 45s here, I can um, glue this up, use my level to make sure that this stays horizontal, stays flat, and set my angle here. Um, so I think that's gonna be the best prudent way to do that. Again, it's gonna be really important that, that as you glue this all up, it lines up as we want to. So this, this 90 degree that starts coming up is at a 45 off the ground so that this stays horizontal. Um, so again, just stuff to think about is you're gluing it up on your own and I'm gonna, uh, 
work on this, glue it up, and, and kind of cut ahead to the final project. Okay, now the, the next step here, we're going to take our 90 degree fittings, we're going to glue these to the shorter uh, pieces of PVC, the, the part of the shaft that's going to run up at the 45 degree angle uh, into the, the horizontal shafts here. So we're going to go ahead and glue these up and then we'll talk about the next step. So one more quick thing to think about as you're as you're mocking these up, you're dry fitting them, um, you want these to, this one comes 90 and then angles this way, you're going to want to do your next piece so that it angles in the opposite direction, um, so that when you put them together on the cart, they're both pointing in the same direction forward and not, uh, and not reversed on that. So just one more thing to think about here quick as we're... Uh, putting all this together and thinking about how it's going to work. Okay, so we have our, our shafts here glued up in there. They are uh, at the right angles. Uh, we did a pretty good job here gluing these together so that they're going to be square off each other and the next part of the glue up is going to be where we come off our T here and glue this up and make this horizontal on the top and, and this is going to be one of the tougher ones I think so we're going to do the same thing we did that when we glued this part up is we're going to dry fit this make sure all these angles are correct make a little mark with our pencil or sharpie so that we know uh, we're on the right spot, we can glue it up, we can uh, be pretty accurate pretty quickly. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and uh, show you the end results. Okay, so we're all glued up and set here. Just gonna attach it to the cart quickly to make sure everything looks like it should. Okay, so it all matches up. It still all looks pretty well as it should. Uh, this is level, this is fairly level. So we will get Hank down here, make sure he fits in between them nice and that goes to the, to the harness well. Right? Oh boy. Uh, the only thing really left we'll have to do is we'll uh, cut the ends of the, the shafts to length, add an a eye bolt so that we can connect the shafts to the harness so when, when the cart rolls forward, uh, the harness will stop it, it'll act like a brake. Um, and then we're going to attach the tracers from the harness to the wagon um, uh, once that's all set. So to attach the tracers here that are going to attach to the, the harness and come back to the cart, uh, there was really nothing on the frame that was easy to clip into. I didn't want to drill into it uh, and weaken the frame itself. So I went simple. I just used some uh, rope, some shoelace material. It's good and strong. It's not going to break. Tied a good strong knot there. You could use a carabiner um, depending on how your frame is set up. Uh, there's, there's different options you could do. This just was the simplest and the, the easiest thing and uh, I think it'll work really well so that's how we're going to get started.
Okay, there's the uh, the build. That's our our new cart for Hank. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope it was helpful. I hope uh, maybe it set you on to uh, build in your own. If uh, if you liked it, please like the video. Please subscribe to to the YouTube page. And if you want to see anything else um, or have any questions about what we did here, please hit us up in the comments. We'd love to chat with you there.